Hi, it's late fall and now's the time to get out and collect some seeds. If you like to grow seeds yourself and you want to keep some from your garden, now is a good time to get out and uh, keep an eye out for things you might be collecting. Now, one thing I want to mention is uh, when you're collecting seeds of flowers or vegetables or any types of plant, first thing you want to do is make sure that they're not hybrid seeds. Hybrid seeds basically are two inbred populations that are brought together, crossed together for what's called hybrid vigor. But if you save the seeds the next year, they usually go back to some of those inbred populations and the qualities aren't quite as good as you would expect from the, the hybrid uh, offspring. So you want to go out and look for herbs and vegetables that you may not have that aren't hybrids and you can save them and grow them next year. Uh, what I have here with me is from another section of my garden, and this is Anis hyssop, and I brought this so you could see kind of the different stages that a flower may go through as it's getting ready to make seeds. Now this is just about ready to shatter. It may have already started to shatter, and you can kind of see as I shake it on my hand, you can see all the seeds coming off of my hand right there. So this is, this is ready you want to uh, get the seeds off this and what you can do is you can put it into a, a paper, I usually do it in a paper bag but just for the purposes of demonstration I'm going to put it into a plastic bag first or you could use a plastic bag it doesn't really matter but and you just shake it off inside and you can see I've got a nice collection of seeds already could probably give a bunch to our friends as well now I wanted to show you the first stages. As you can see, this one will develop as it goes, dries from the bottom and works its way up. And let's see if we got any. See, the bottom is already starting. But if we check the top, the seeds aren't coming off the top yet. There's a couple, but not as many. So this is just about ready to start shattering its seeds. And if I left it any longer, they'd probably all shatter off in the wind. Back here, you also have Yarrow, another one uh, that you common yarrow that you have to be careful of shattering and same thing you can see they're dark and they're ready to to come right out and you can store those seeds now the good thing about these type of seeds is they're pretty dry and you also want to come out on a day like today where it's sunny and dry so that you got a head start you don't want to store wet seeds here we have an interesting relative of the marigold and those of you who grow marigolds as you'll recognize these the pods are a little bit smaller but this is called a Mexican marigold, and it has an anise flavor, and it can be, can be used as an herb. It's also a culinary value. Mmm, love that anise smell. And you can use it as a tarragon substitute. But inside here, let's see if we can get in there. This may be too small to see on camera. But you can see, if you get a close-up, those marigold-type seeds with the little black bottoms and the little spiky tops so we could go in there and we want to take off the chaff which is the outer sections now when you're storing them you can use plastic bags you can use uh, airtight containers like this yogurt container you can also use film and you want to put in something like a silica gel to keep it dry and I, I sometimes find these in different packaging, so I save them, keep them airtight, and, and can use them again. When we head over here, I want to show you a couple more things. I wanted to show you a different type of fruit. We have some roses here, and we have rose hips. They're pretty easy, too, because they're pretty dry. Now, they're related to apples. Roses are related, or apples are actually related to roses. They're in a the rose family. And so this is kind of like an apple fruit, if you think about it, but it's much drier. And in there, you can see the seeds that we can just take out. Pretty easy to separate them from the, the pulp. And we can dry those out and store those as well. And then finally, I want to show you what happens if you wait too long. Other than shattering, this is dianthus, or uh, border carnation. And if I can find one, I, I remember seeing one that I opened up, and the seeds were inside, and they were germinating. Let's see if we can get one that's like that. Uh, and let's see. See, these are a little, yep, and you can start, if you look real closely, you can start to see the radical or the roots starting to come out 
of these seeds. And these are too far gone. You'd want to plant these right away. You wouldn't want to store these. So I hope you have a good time this fall. Start thinking about next spring and you can save some seeds, save some money and have some fun. And make sure to select the plants that you really like the best. That way you can perpetuate all those good qualities. Until next time, this is Peter Plimsey. Live long and garden.